Chapter 6 Self Supporting Missionaries Self supporting missionaries are often very successful. Beginning in a small, humble way, their work enlarges as they move forward under the guidance of the Spirit of God. Let two or more start out together in evangelistic work. They may not receive any particular encouragement from those at the head of the work that they will be given financial support. Nevertheless, let them go forward, praying, singing, teaching, living the truth. They may take up the work of canvassing and in this way introduce the truth into many families. As they move forward in their work, they gain a blessed experience. They are humbled by a sense of their helplessness, but the Lord goes before them, and among the wealthy and the poor they find favor and help. Even the poverty of these devoted missionaries is a means of finding access to the people. As they pass on their way, they are helped in many ways by those to whom they bring spiritual food. They bear the message God gives them, and their efforts are crowned with success. Many will be brought to a knowledge of the truth who, but for these humble teachers, would never have been won to Christ. God calls for workers to enter the whitening harvest field. Shall we wait because the treasury is exhausted? Because there is scarcely sufficient to sustain the workers now in the field? Go forth in faith, and God will be with you. The promise is, He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. Psalms 126, verse 6. Nothing is so successful as success. Let this be secured by persevering effort, and the work will move forward. New fields will be opened. Many souls will be brought to a knowledge of the truth. What is needed is increased faith in God. Our people have received great light, yet much of the ministerial force has been spent on the churches, teaching those who should be teachers, enlightening those who should be the light of the world, watering those from whom should flow rivers of living water, enriching those who might be mines of precious truth, repeating the gospel invitation to those who, scattered to the uttermost parts of the earth, should be giving the message of heaven to those who have not heard, feeding those who should be in the highways and byways, giving the call, Come, for all things are now ready. Those for whom the fetters of sin have been broken, who have sought the Lord with brokenness of heart and have obtained answer to their yearning request for righteousness, are never cold and spiritless. Their hearts are filled with unselfish love for sinners. They put away from them all worldly ambition, all self-seeking. Contact with the deep things of God makes them more and more like their Savior. They exult in His triumphs. They are filled with His joy. Day by day they are growing unto the full stature of men and women in Christ. <laughs>